Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cut. Today, we're making churros. But we're not making the standard churros, the sweet kind. We're making salty churros. We're making Gruyere churros. Um, and with that, we're going to have a dipping sauce out of black garlic emulsion, basically. But before we have a look at what we have on the board here, do me the huge favor, if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and checking the bell icon so that you get a notification every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now, let's have a look at the board. Basically, this here is our churro dough, and this is our black garlic emulsion. And let's first have a look at how we did that. Our garlic emulsion is milk, fermented garlic or black garlic, sea salt, and some neutral oil. It's a very simple emulsion. First thing we'll do is we'll take our pot, pour the milk in, and put the garlic in. Now that's 200 milliliters of milk and one fermented garlic. That's around 28 grams. And we now we just need to aromatize the milk. So put it on low heat. You don't want to boil it. You just want it to kind of get the garlic flavor. And that will take a couple of minutes. So I see once that's done. We have our aromatized milk. Pour it over together with the, all the garlic. Now we can add a bit of the salt. Good pinch. And we'll taste it and see if we add more. Now the first job is to mix up the garlic in the milk. And once we've done that, this is basically like a mayonnaise. You add oil slowly. We'll cut until, well, I'll show you the beginning, but it's quite loud, so. Now, as you can see, I hope you can see it, as emulsified. And that's what we want. So now let's taste it. Let's give this a try. It's a bit more salt. And we'll put a little bit of vinegar in there. I would say a good teaspoon. And another good pinch of salt. Let's try. Perfect. We have our black garlic emulsion. As you can see, very simple. Magic can happen with milk. Just be careful of one thing, and that's when adding the, um, the vinegar. Don't add too much, and ideally still mix afterwards, otherwise it can separate. So be careful with that. But now we put that away, and we'll start with the churro dough. Now for your churro dough, you need half a kilo of flour, you need 500 milliliters of water, you need one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of baking soda or baking powder, three tablespoons of olive oil, and a lot of well-aged Gruyere packing power. And the first thing we need to do is mix the flour and the cheese. So we'll start with sifting the flour. Now, sifting flour is not 100% necessary, but it makes it a bit easier to combine afterwards with the liquid because it makes it a bit airier. So it's, I think at least when you're going to mix it with a liquid, it's, it's beneficial to do it. And it, as you can see, it goes really quick, as long as you don't have a sieve with small holes. Next up are Gruyere. Now, the easiest way to, again, combine it is to use a very fine grater. We're not going to need the whole cheese. I would say probably a good 200 grams. We're going to use some of it just to put on top afterwards as well before we serve it. That should be a good almost 200 grams. And now we just mix the flour and the cheese. Try to get an even mix if you can. 
You're not in a hurry, so it's worth it. That should be good. We can put this to the side. Now for the liquid component of the dough, we put the water in a pot, add the salt, add the baking powder, and we also add in the oil. And now onto the stove with it. We're going to bring it to a boil. And in the meantime, get prepared with your bowl. So once it's boiling, we can put it straight in. So our water was just boiling. We'll make a little well. Start stirring it in. You just work all the liquid in. It's a bit too hot to get in with your hands straight away, but I normally get in with my hands afterwards to make sure that everything is nicely worked in. Just make sure that you have some flour on your hands to kind of protect them from the heat. And cold water close by, because obviously it's dough, so it sticks to your hand if it's warm. Some cold water on the hands in between. Be a bit careful, please, because you can really burn yourself. Try to work in as much flour as possible. Perfect. Now you could add a bit more cheese from the beginning or now. Salt is fine. And we're basically ready to put this in a piping bag. Now if you're like me, you don't have a churro kind of pump. There's a special gadget for that. But you can pipe it. It's just very physically tiring. But that's what we're doing today. So I'll get some oil going so that we can fry it afterwards. And then we'll sort out the piping bag, and I'll show you how to pipe them. So I'll see you in a bit. Our piping bag, a plate, I put some starch on. You can use any starch, and it's just so that they don't stick. And now you need muscles, and maybe a knife to cut them off afterwards. And that's why it's a lot. I have the star tip on, because that's the only tip I have. And this is really kind of muscle work. And now just choose yourself how tall you want them. And make as many as you have dough for. And at the mean, in the meantime, the oil will get warm, so you're not losing any time. But I'll see you once these are done and the oil is hot. And the good thing is you won't have to go to the gym today. At least not for your arms. So we're ready to go. Make sure you try to shake off the, the starch. Get some movement in the pan. Get some kitchen paper ready. Basically making sure that we move it around a lot. And as always, when you deep fat fry things, we're looking for the kind of golden brown color. You see that part was just because it had contact with the pan. Because I wasn't quick enough to move it around. So they're slowly getting there. What I'm doing, since I can't do all at once, I have the oven on 50 degrees Celsius, just to keep them warm afterwards, well, 50, 60 degrees. I want a bit more color still, maybe another 15 seconds. Yeah, I'm happy. We'll get them out, put them on your kitchen paper, and then continue doing this until you've used up all your dough. Keep them 
keep these ones in the oven. And then I'll see you once we're done frying. So before we plate this up, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there and takes you a second, but it's really important for me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. But now let's plate this up. And we start with our black garlic emulsion. I could have taken a bigger spoon. It would have gone a bit quicker. Like that. And then you won't believe this. My piping bag broke, so I had to roll the last part. So we're not going to serve that. We'll serve these. Yeah, that should be good. And last but not least, a generous portion of grated gruyere on top as well. And that's it. Let's dig in. The good thing is, you don't need cutlery. I love these churros because they're still a bit kind of doughy from the cheese. Mm. Heavenly mixture. And if you don't like black garlic, just make a mayo or um, aioli or even cocktail sauce or something like that. Mm. So perverse, perfect starter, perfect snack like an apro snack when you invite the guests for dinner. Glass of champagne with this. The guests are gonna be very happy. But that was our Gruyere cheese churros with black garlic emulsion. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you go, if you're not subscribing yet, please do so, hit the subscribe, check the bell icon. But that's it for this time. I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.